Well, UDOT snowplow crews will head out overnight to clear another snowstorm, but this winter has not exactly overwhelmed their budget with big storms. New specialist Jed Bowl is live to show us what kind of projects will benefit from any excess money. Jed? Yeah, Ashley, UDOT plows will be out in force tonight if the storm that is forecasted arrives as expected. But in general, it's been a very light season for plowing, and that could leave extra money in the budget for other projects. Our plows are going to be concentrating on the mountain areas because we could see up to a foot in some areas. That's the expectation for this storm. We are expecting an intense um, amount of snow that's going to fall in a short amount of time. And, and so, you know, our plows are going to be out there putting down the brine solution, making sure that we're prepared. UDOT budgeted $24.1 million for snow removal this winter. But with fewer storms than average, they've spent only $21 million, leaving $3 million in reserve. In general, a a statewide storm costs about $1 million to clean up, and they estimate two dozen storms each winter. There have been periods of time, weeks, even it feels like months, where we haven't really had a lot of these storms. This storm could present plenty of plowing in the canyons, so crews will pre-treat those roads. But they may not need to plow too much in the valleys. This is probably not going to be one of our more expensive storms because the soil temperatures are so warm right now that it's not going to be a mid-season type storm where the snow automatically sticks. Three years ago, UDOT busted its snow removal budget by four and a half million dollars. They had to dip into an emergency fund for two million dollars and pull money from maintenance. This spring, they will use extra money to repair potholes, culverts, and fencing. There have been a couple of years where we've had to uh, pull uh, money from other maintenance projects, and then there have been other other years where, where we've been a little bit under. And, and so it tends to even out. And listen to this. Nearly $6 million of the budget money this year went to the road salt, 160,000 cubic yards in all. But that was still a quarter million dollars less than we spent on road salt last year and a million dollars less than we spent on road salt two years ago. So that salt on the roads is a big part of the budget.